keep on rocking in the free world. Keep on rocking in the free world. I'm pissed off. All right, how many times do we have to talk about etiquette? Being respectful of uh, where you park, even if that place is Walmart. Now, it's no secret that Walmart is uh, clamping down in a lot of jurisdictions across North America because too many people abuse their RV parking privileges. Now, most Walmarts, if you go in, you're supposed to go in and ask at each location, and most of them will tell you yes, and it's usually a 24-hour limit, which makes sense. They want you to stop, stay overnight, buy stuff, and then leave. But some people decide to stay for days, weeks, or even longer on end. And then you hear people whining that Walmart is banning overnight parking in a lot of their parking lots. Now, there's a couple of different sides to this, okay? First of all, a lot of Wal uh, Walmarts don't allow it for a couple of reasons. Number one, Walmart doesn't actually own the parking lots in a lot of areas. For example, most of the ones in the major cities are connected to malls or other developments like other 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 businesses and the uh, the actual owner of the entire complex owns the owns the parking lot has jurisdiction not the tenants such as Walmart also there's a lot of uh, locations that are within cities that are very strict against people staying overnight or camping within city limits so therefore if that Walmart is located in a city that doesn't allow overnight camping or living in your van then they can't allow it in their parking lots because the parking lot is within the city limits so a lot of Walmarts have to abide by city bylaws of course because that overrules their own parking lot it's it's the same thing as a lot of cities you can't live in a camper in someone's driveway it doesn't matter if the driveway is private property if the driveway is within city limits it falls under city laws and that's what happens with a lot of Walmarts now I am right now in Chilliwack, BC, at the Walmart, and it's about 100 kilometers away from Vancouver. And this is actually one of the only ones close to Vancouver that actually allows overnight parking still. Almost all of them, any closer to the city, you're not supposed to stay overnight. I'm going to show you something here. Most people here will park for a couple of days or they leave and they come back at night. That's okay. They're not just squatting here. But this person, or persons, okay, this has been here for at least a few weeks. A few weeks! <laughs> like, that's ridiculous, guys. Now, there was notices left on the vehicle, and uh, I went up and read it. Trespass notice, March 7th, 2020. Take notice that on this Saturday, March 7th, 2020, that you, as the person receiving this letter, the driver and or owner of the Mercedes-Benz with the British Columbia license plate, blah, 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 and British Columbia trailer license plate, blah, 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 is no longer welcome on the property owned or leased by Walmart Canada Corporation. A previous notice was posted on your trailer requesting you vacate the premises and it has since been removed from your trailer. Entry by you from this day forward is hereby prohibited from being on property owned or leased by Walmart Canada Corporation. Take notice that should you at any future time enter onto the premises of any property owned or leased by Walmart Canada Corporation, you may be subject to apprehension for trespass and may be liable to a fine or imprisonment in accordance to the provisions of the trespassing laws in the province of British Columbia. Any disregard in abiding with the lawful legal demands of this notice will result in the RCMP being contacted. A photo has been retained of this notice being posted on your vehicles to prove service of this notice. Now you see what's going to happen here? If Walmart gets a couple of those, that's it. You, you think they're going to allow people to park here overnight? All it takes is one bad apple. And that right there is the bad apple. And it's bad. Like, what are you doing? Look, if you're going to choose the RV life, not because you enjoy the RV life, but because you want to save money and be cheap and just live for free in someone else's parking lot, don't do it. Just don't. Go find somewhere off the grid. Get the hell out of the parking lot. 
don't be parking in front of people's houses, don't be parking in Walmarts, because you're ruining it for everyone else. Like, th there's no nice way to put this. That person got a notice to leave about a week ago, and they went and removed the notices <laughs> off their vehicle, and they're still there. And now they have been told they're not, a, they're not welcome on any Walmart Canada property. So good luck parking that in any Walmart across the country. I'm sure they, I bet you they, I bet you they send out pictures and license plates to all the other locations as well. So that, that's really bad guys. Like the rest of us here, are, we're here for a day at the most, then we leave. But that guy's just been squatting there. Like this isn't your property, this is someone else's property. And Walmart is being very generous by allowing us to stay here overnight in the first place. They don't have to. And it's people like that that really screw it up for everyone else. I make no apologies for calling out people like this because, you know, it's like when people are living on boats and then, the, and then you get uh, the occasional idiot who just anchors their boat and never moves it. It becomes a derelict piece of crap. And then everyone else starts complaining. And when media does negative stories on people living in their RVs and talking about people that squat and talking about homeless people, they're talking about that. They're not talking about guys like me and the rest of these. The problem is the general public sees us all as being one and the same. So when you behave like that, it looks bad on all of us. Not only are we going to lose our parking spot, but the general public looks at us as if we're all a bunch of squatters. Keep on rocking in the free world and let's try to keep it free, okay? Warning! Just Incredible TV is not gluten free. Click that subscribe button below and make them live great again. Oh yeah.